Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you an all-time favorite fermented dry fish chili chutney that we usually prepare whenever we make a plain curry or say a boring curry, for example, boiled dal. Yes. This chutney serves well as a side dish and it is very easy to prepare a very quick and a simple recipe. So first let us go and collect some chilies and then we'll start with the procedure. So let's get started. So we have got three plants here but as you can see that the leaves are curled so I feel like these plants are infected so let's not pluck the chilies from here and we'll check it out from the back here. Let me show you some of my plants so these are some of the flowers that we have collected and we have planted and like we don't have so much space so we have just arranged it here. So we are at the backyard now and here are some plants here. Let me show you some. These are the only two binka plants that are still blooming. Okay, so let me welcome you to the most messy part of my backyard. So as you can see, plants are plants, here are plants, here are also plants. So you can see some Z plants and a monstera plant. Hmm. Iski upper bhi plants hai, to abhi hum log chalte hai aur kuch chili plant ko dunte hai. And I think we found some. Yes, so let's start plucking the chilies. Guys, this is another variety of chili. Ye chote chote hote hai aur bahut tikha hota hai. So, yahan bhi kuch kuch pak gaye hai. So, let's start plucking the chilies that are by now edible and matured enough. We have plucked enough chilies for today and now let me continue showing you my unorganized garden. Here you'll get to see both vegetable as well as flower plants. Everything is mixed up so please bear with me. Here we have some beautiful house plants that are wishing for a new pot. Very soon we are going to replant them into a new pot and then we'll arrange it properly. And this is a banana tree. Guys, this is a different kind of banana tree. You can see its stem. It's like carving nature. And these are some of my ginger plants. And this is uh, euphorbia that is blooming. And here are some plants here. Hydrangea, euphorbia, and what else? Zeranium. So that's it. Itnai plants. Oh, I found a chili plant. Yeah, because chilies. Oh my god, it's bearing a lot of chilies. Is kobi chalo tor lete ham log.
हम्म आज हम लोग ने बहुत सारा चिली तोड़ लिया एंड इट्स नॉट लाइक कि आई एम गोइंग टू यूज एवरीथिंग फॉर टू दिस चटनी सो नाउ लेट्स गो बैक टू द किचन एंड गाइस यू कैन सी दिस प्लांट्स यहाँ पे बहुत सारा ऐसा स्पाइकी स्पाइकी वाला प्लांट्स है आई डोंट नो व्हाट डू वी कॉल इन इंग्लिश बट ये खाने में खट्टा होता है एंड इट लुक्स लाइक दिस सो यहाँ पर बहुत सारा है एंड दिस आर सम ऑफ द लीलीस अभी लीली का सीज़न आ रहा है सो माई मॉम इज़ प्लानिंग टू प्लान इट प्रॉपरली अभी चलो हम लोग चटनी बनाते हैं फॉर मेकिंग दिस चटनी वी नीड सम चिलीज वन टू टू पीस ऑफ ड्राई फिश एंड मीडियम साइज गार्लिक एंड सॉल्ट फॉर इट्स टेस्ट If you are a beginner then I recommend you to make slits on the chilies so that while roasting it it does not burst out. The next step is to roast the chilies and then the dry fish. Transfer the roasted chilies into the mortar. Now place the dry fish on the tawa for roasting. As the dry fish get roasted, let us start pounding the chilies. add the garlic and then start pounding all together So the chutney is prepared and it is ready to be served. Just look at it. It looks so mouth watering. It is a very easy recipe and it hardly takes 5 to 10 minutes to prepare. So try it out and as always thank you for watching this video once again.